Vanadium IV oxide, also called vanadium dioxide, is an inorganic compound with the formula VO2. It is a dark blue solid. Vanadium IV dioxide is amphoteric, dissolving in non-oxidizing acids to give the blue vanadyl ion VO2+ and in alkali to give the brown VO4O9-2- ion or at high pH VO4-4-. VO2 has a phase transition very close to room temperature, approximately 66 degrees Celsius. Electrical resistivity, opacity, etc., can change up several orders. Due to these properties, it has been widely used in surface coating, sensors, and imaging. Potential applications include use in memory devices, phase change switches, aerospace communication systems, and neuromorphic computing. Properties Structure At temperatures below Tc equals 340 K 67 degrees Celsius, VO2 has a monoclinic space group P21, C crystal structure. Above Tc, the structure is tetragonal, like rutile titanium 4 oxide. In the monoclinic phase, the V4 plus ions form pairs along the C-axis, leading to alternate short and long VV distances of 2.65 A and 3.12 A. In comparison, in the rutile phase the V4 plus ions are separated by a fixed distance of 2.96 A. As a result, the number of V4 plus ions in the crystallographic unit cell doubles from the rutile to the monoclinic phase. The equilibrium morphology of rutile VO2 particles is acicular, laterally confined by 100 10 surfaces, which are the most stable termination planes. The surface tends to be oxidized with respect to the stoichiometric composition, with the oxygen adsorbed on the 110 surface forming vanadyl species. The presence of V5 plus ions at the surface of VO2 films has been observed by X-ray photoelectron spectroscopy measurements. Electronic at the rutile to monoclinic transition temperature 67 degrees Celsius, VO2 also exhibits a metal to semiconductor transition in its electronic structure, the rutile phase is metallic while the monoclinic phase is semiconducting. The optical band gap of VO2 in the low temperature monoclinic phase is about 0.7 electron volts. Thermal Metallic VO2 contradicts the Weidmann Franz law that holds that the ratio of the electronic contribution of the thermal conductivity kappa to the electrical conductivity sigma of a metal is proportional to the temperature. The thermal conductivity that could be attributed to electron movement was 10% of the amount predicted by the Weidmann Franz law. The reason for this appears to be the fluidic way that the electrons move through the material, reducing the typical random electron motion. Potential applications include converting waste heat from engines and appliances into electricity, or window coverings that keep buildings cool. Thermal conductivity varied when VO2 was mixed with other materials. At a low temperature, it could act as an insulator, while conducting heat at a higher temperature. Synthesis and structure Following the method described by Berzelius, VO2 is prepared by comproportionation of vanadium oxide and vanadium v oxide V2O5 plus V2O34 VO2 at room temperature VO2 has a distorted rutile structure with shorter distances between pairs of V atoms indicating metal-metal bonding. Above 68 degrees Celsius the structure changes to an undistorted rutile structure and the metal-metal bonds are broken causing an increase in electrical conductivity and magnetic susceptibility as the bonding electrons are released. The origin of this insulator to metal transition remains controversial and is of interest in condensed matter physics. Infrared reflectance VO2 expresses temperature-dependent reflective properties. When heated from room temperature to 80 degrees Celsius, the material's thermal radiation rises normally until 74 degrees Celsius, before suddenly appearing to drop to around 20 degrees Celsius. At room temperature VO2 is almost transparent to infrared light. As its temperature rises it gradually changes to reflective. At intermediate temperatures it behaves as a highly absorbing dielectric, a thin film of vanadium oxide on a highly reflecting substrate for specific infrared wavelengths such as sapphire is either absorbing or reflecting, dependent on temperature. 
Its emissivity varies considerably with temperature. When the vanadium oxide transitions with increased temperature, the structure undergoes a sudden decrease in emissivity, looking colder to infrared cameras than it really is, varying the substrate materials e.g., to indium tin oxide, and modifying the vanadium oxide coating using doping, straining and other processes, alter the wavelengths and temperature ranges at which the thermal effects are observed, nanoscale structures that appear naturally in the materials. Transition region can suppress thermal radiation as the temperature rises. Doping the coating with tungsten lowers the effect. S thermal range to room temperature. Uses Infrared radiation management 1.9% tungsten doped material content has been investigated for use as a spectrally selective. Window coating to block infrared transmission and reduce the loss of building interior heat through windows. Varying the amount of tungsten allows regulating the phase transition temperature. The coating has a slight yellow green color. Other potential applications of its thermal properties include passive camouflage, thermal beacons, communication, or to deliberately speed up or slow down cooling, which could be useful in a variety of structures from homes to satellites. Vanadium dioxide can act as extremely fast optical shutters, optical modulators, infrared modulators for missile guidance systems, cameras, data storage, and other applications. The thermochromic phase transition between the transparent semiconductive and reflective conductive phase, occurring at 68 degrees Celsius, can happen in times as short as 100 femtoseconds. Phase change computing and memory the insulator metal phase transition in VO2 can be manipulated at the nanoscale using a biased conducting atomic force microscope tip, suggesting applications in computing and information storage. See also Vanadium redox battery References <laughs>